What I wanted to bring to Sinai was a new way to study human disease. I'm a simple person with a straightforward plan, which is just to cure cancer. What causes coronary artery disease and how we can help people. At the scientific level, we can achieve things here that nobody else in the world can do. Mount Sinai has given us free reign to explore the future of medicine. We created a vision, a very powerful vision, a very bold statement. And that statement was that we were going to move from a good regional academic center to a nationally recognized program that would have the stature of the very best medical centers in the world. Thanks to the people that we have brought to Mount Sinai, we're changing the paradigm of healthcare. Schizophrenia is a disease where we completely don't understand the processes that lead up to disease onset. When a patient walks into the clinic, it can be too late to understand the first things that went wrong in disease. What we're able to do with stem cells is, is to rewind that clock. We take skin samples from patients and turn those into stem cells and turn those into brain cells. A stem cell reverts the cell back to a very young state, perhaps a fetal state, and so we can watch over the course of development these cells mature and then begin disease. We can see the disease initiation, disease progression, and the ultimate end stage of disease in the dish. Christian's work on stem cells will help Mount Sinai achieve our strategic vision in being a global leader in advancing definitive treatments for illness and one day conquering the major illnesses of our time. We can watch all of the aspects of neurodevelopment and really understand ultimately how to prevent it. My research is about understanding human life history. What happens to us soon after we are conceived and learning from that history to predict very accurately what will happen to us at the next stages of our life. Whenever we started farming, we would often look at uh, the growth rings in trees and make assumptions about weather patterns in the past. Human teeth also have growth rings. So there's a daily growth ring that forms in everyone's teeth every day. But these growth rings are microscopic, and so to measure them is very hard and we developed a laser-based method, fully functioning robot with our own image analysis software here, and we start mapping these teeth. What's game-changing about what we are doing is that from a single sample, we can construct a life history of your environment. We can tell you not only just what your environmental exposures were, we can tell you if your nutrition was deficient. We can tell you the stresses you experienced, the infections you suffered and also how your body responded to that. And using that information, we're working to predict disease that has shown no clinical sign yet that will first appear decades from now. Mount Sinai has become a leading institution in understanding the environmental causes of children's illness and poor outcomes. I think Dr. Rohr's work is important because it doesn't just tell us what those chemicals are that are important or what those environmental exposures are that's important. It tells us when you were exposed and the timing that's important. We can change the life trajectories towards a more beneficial or more positive outcome. Science is how we make tomorrow's medicines. The big breakthrough has been unleashing the power of the immune system, allowing our immune cells to kill cancer. Our work has mostly been in vaccines, vaccines that actually tell our immune cells, this is what that person's cancer looks like, find those cancer cells anywhere in the body, eliminate them. We actually make the vaccine right in a patient's tumor. We inject immune modulators directly into a tumor and then activate those immune cells to eliminate cancer cells everywhere. We've seen patients with bulky tumors that have melted away, and we've seen some patients with advanced stage lymphoma who have gone into complete remission and are in complete remission well beyond a year past the treatment. Josh has really 
have built some of the most novel treatments in lymphoma. Previously, those patients would have had to undergo a bone marrow transplant because there was no treatment. He's part of this exciting effort we were making in immunotherapy. Immunotherapy and some of the other types of personalized therapies that we invent uh, here at Mount Sinai have offered new hope to our patients where literally none was there before. Big problems require big approaches and that's where Sinai excels. My long-term vision is to make an impact on the treatment and care of patients with cardiovascular disease through major discoveries. My own lab itself was focusing on one disease called fibromuscular dysplasia. It's a disease that affects females with a 10 to 1 ratio over males that can cause sudden death in females in the prime of their life. What I'm trying to do in my lab is to understand the biology of the disease and why this actually happens. We now have several key candidate genes for this disease that we're tracking down aggressively in the lab. The genes that appear likely to have a fundamental causative role. Jason portrays what we want to see in medicine, to understand the fundamental of diseases, to have the appropriate diagnostic tools that he's working with the appropriate therapies, and in addition, can you prevent all of this, and can you promote health? This is what an institution needs. We're understanding the biology and moving forwards to offer these women with this disease hope. One of the big bets that Sinai placed was that information was going to be critically important to next generation healthcare. The more information you collect, you're going to get closer and closer to realizing how individual disease is and how we need to manage it in a very personalized way for an individual. It's all about making sense of the infinite universe of the body. In my lab, we're fundamentally redefining what is health and what is disease. And the way we do it is by doing deep, deep profiling of an individual with data and molecular technologies, with digital uh, tools, wearable sensors. There's multiple layers of networks and information flow that are going on every you know, second in the body. One cell has billions of variables. We're trying to now extrapolate that out to figure out how all these cells in the body are working together. Using this information to build predictive models of health and disease. Joel Dudley is coming up with novel ways to diagnose disease, to enhance wellness by using the latest technologies. We are counting on him to be one of our leaders in moving Mount Sinai in a way that is transformative to provide next generation health care today. I have the ability now to reimagine what medicine would look like. What's so exciting about what's happening in Mount Sinai today is that we're seeing the fruits of all the work that we set out to do. That work is now turning into new technologies, new discoveries. Our ultimate goal, and I know we share this, is to make research findings turn into a better life for our patients. When I look back, on these last 10 years with the incredible progress that we've made. And I think what's possible over the next 10 years, I'm frankly in awe of where I think we're going to be.